channel. Today I'm going to walk you through my Toy Story 4 setup and I'm also going to show you how to make a standalone forky cutout that you're going to love. This video today is sponsored by You Backdrop who sponsored the beautiful backdrop that you're going to see on this video today but more about this wonderful company at the end of this video. Alright guys, let's get started. Here we go. To make my cutout, I'm going to be using a 2x4 sanded piece of plywood. I got this from Home Depot and it already comes cut so you don't have to worry about cutting it or bothering anyone to cut it for you at the store. To help me draw Forky, I'm going to be using my handy PEX tube that I got from Home Depot some time ago. This was left over from another project and this is a tube that bends. You can pretty much shape it to, you know, whichever way you want. And um, I'm going to use it to draw the upper part, the spork part of Forky. And um, yeah, you don't have to use this. You can easily grab a bowl and use that, okay? I just like this, that's all. All right, so, all right, let's get started. So this is the picture that's going to help me make Forky. So this is the guide I'm going to use. I Google Forky and got many images, but this one is the one. Another thing that's going to help guide me with drawing are the googly eyes that I got from Amazon. You can find these at any craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But nowadays, Prime is my best friend. So here is the spork part. Now I'm going to work on the body. And here's what the outline looks like. All right, let's start cutting. I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut out the plywood or forky. Um, today I am going to be working out of my garage, guys, because that sawdust inside the house is a no-no. Totally a no-no. Some construction going on. Uh, some of my neighbors are getting some things done in their houses so uh it's actually making me feel like a badass <laughs> totally because i can hold my own you're gonna hear my power too and to make forky's popsicle stick feet and clay i use what i have left over of the plywood now I'm gonna go ahead and paint Forky in white. The clay is like a dirty white, basically like a white clay that kids play with for a very long time and it got dirty. <laughs> I wanted to use white and brown, but I do not have brown for some reason. I know I do somewhere in the house. But anyway, I'm going to use white, black, and a little bit of gold and see how that goes. And I'm gonna leave the popsicle feet as is because popsicle sticks are made out of wood, obviously. All right, so no need for that. While I let the paint dry, I'm going to make the stand for the cutout. And it's going to consist of what you see here. This I got from Home Depot and was once a eight foot stick. And it is now what you see here, which is a four feet, one foot, and two six inch pieces, okay? And I'm going to put it together with three inch flat head wood screws. I'm also going to use quarter inch by two inch dowel screws. I'm going to start by drilling a hole in the middle of my four foot wood strip. Now I'm going to drill all the way through in the middle of my one foot strip. And also you're gonna drill holes in the middle of your six inch strips. Now you're gonna place your one foot strip over your four foot strip and screw it together. Since now I know where the screw is at, where it stands, I am going to drill holes on this side and the opposite side so I can place the other two legs. time to put together Forky's face. I am going to be gluing on the googly eyes with my hot glue gun and then I'm going to be drawing the eyebrows and painting it in red and the mouth in blue. And I'm going to use acrylic paint.
So I painted the stand in white, same white that I used for Forky. Now I'm going to nail in all of the cutouts. I'm going to put the pieces together like puzzle pieces. I'm going to start with the fork or the spork and then I'm going to move on with the feet and then lastly the clay. I'm going to use one and a half inch common nails to secure the fork and then I'm going to use one inch wire nails for the clay. If you look closely, Forky has a rainbow on top of his foot. So I found this very cute set of stickers and he has a rainbow. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right on top of his foot. And lastly, I am going to add his arms and it's going to be this red giant chenille pipe cleaner that I got from Michaels. And he is too cute, <laughs> love it. Now join me as I put together the whole setup. As I said earlier, this video is sponsored by You Backtrap. Guys, this company has a variety of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful backdrops. I was very impressed with the quality of the material once it arrived at my home. All of their backdrops are made out of microfiber fabric, which is computer printed and wrinkle resistant, which means that you can clean and reuse and iron it so it can look absolutely amazing at any celebration. So make sure to check out my description box for a 15% discount. you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to leave me a thumbs up please make sure to subscribe and comment let me know what you thought of this setup and make sure to share 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 sharing is caring all right guys until next time bye